What's up, guys? It's your boy OG Two Tone here. So basically, I'm gonna be talking about the upgrades upgrades that I've done to my Taurus G3C. Um, I've not done like a whole lot, but I've done a few upgrade that I've done. That I think is pretty basic is basically the mag right here because it comes with three 12 round mags, and I'll show you guys that it's clear just for the people out there dry fire i wouldn't recommend it but i do it um i'm just comfortable with it i used it enough i'm not saying i'm any professional or nothing but uh i know how to work a gun at least my guns i've upgraded to this 17 round right here this is what it looks like of course it's less um concealable because it will stick out with it being out but i will say that it's a pretty good upgrade in my opinion just so you have those extra rounds from 12 to 17 um of course one in the chamber so 18 or 13 i guess if you have the 12 round mag uh, that's the first upgrade that i've done to it pretty basic but in my opinion worth it it has the the numbers in the back to let you know how many rounds you have and i'm glad you could see it because that's always nice uh second upgrade i put the ameriglow sights on there as you can see, let me see if I can, there you go. And basically what that does is at nighttime it will glow in the dark. This little sight right there, which is nice. Makes it a little bit easier to see and stuff. The second is, so basically the barrel, which is a ported barrel, which is that little hole on top. Uh, I got that. I got the recoil. And then also on the inside, I changed the striker guide. So basically the parts that I got, which is, as you can see, is all gold. And it goes together, um, which replaces the, um, also for the striker guide, it used to be plastic, but now it's metal. I got all these parts from Lake Line. So if you really want to uh, look for that, you could go to Lake Line. I believe it's Lake Line, LakeLine.com or something like that. Um, like I said, it's a uh, pretty good upgrade in my opinion. It was worth it to me. Um, I like the look of it. Uh, the ported barrel will help with recoil, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. I'm not saying it's going to be, like, the craziest difference, but definitely does a difference. Um, that's pretty much it, to be honest. I did change the back plate of it um, to, it was, a, like, a biohazard, um, like, you know, little thing, um, which it was, who was that by biohazard? I think I still might have it. Let me see if I have it, guys. So I do keep my parts and stuff like that. Here, let me see. I know I have it here somewhere. Oh, uh, here you go. Okay. Right here. This is a little back plate that I changed, but I replaced it back only because I heard somebody say... So you can see that. See a little biohazard. And this is actually by Maker Shot. If you wanted to know for that. For the back plates. Um, but I replaced it back only because there was somebody who also um, had it. And apparently they had a bad um, experience with it. That uh, I think they said when they shot it, I think it fell off. Or, or something like that. I, I don't remember exactly what they said. Um. I'm not saying that it's guaranteed that it will happen, but in my opinion, in my head, I thought, well, I'd rather be safe with it. I'd rather know that my gun is going to function and, you know, work every single time. And he said that the the spring of that in here, like, kind of, like, pushed it out or, or something like that. I forgot where that video is at. Um, but that's the reason why I put it back to the original, just to make sure it, fully functions that it's good um in my opinion my upgrades are worth it like i said it's up to you what you want to do with it you can uh, you can do actually quite a lot with the g3c to be honest um but yeah that's pretty much it and besides the holster but that's not really an upgrade that's more so just to conceal carry and stuff but yeah so thank you guys for watching og2 tone out